Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Behind me is Howard and I'm at his place one more time. So if you haven't watched the first video, it took about a year to do that. If you haven't seen that video, click right here. Watch that video first. Today, I'm gonna maybe interview Howard and we're gonna be watching the video that we've made together. So uh, it's all his creation. We're gonna do a reaction video to that and let's see how it goes. So let's go and check it out. Lovely. <laughs> Cock the shutter here, mm -hmm. like this, and then. Wow. What a sound that is. Yeah, beautiful. Beautifully made. And it's like a clam case. Mm -hmm. it, it fits right back in like this. And amazingly, every little thing fits together. Wow. Like that. And in the real old days, which I won't use, mm -hmm. you'd have a film plate. Okay. With a, a plate of glass in here. Oh, right. And that was your film for one shot. Wow. And then you'd replace it with the next one and the next one. And that's, that's how lovely. all the main photographs were made throughout the 20th century. For example, have I shown you this book before? No. The Daily News, the top 20th century photographs in New York. Mm. The best pictures you've ever seen from the top photographers. Wow. All done on the large cameras, like, or bigger than that. that the wow. whole of the 20th century. This is nice. The top, top pictures. Wow. And the photographer, he was there, there when the woman was having a battle. Oh my I mean, gosh. the pictures, look at that. Wow. They had their own air, airplane that went around New York photographing things. Wow. Is that something? No, it's definitely something. Shot yeah. dead. Ooh. Violent city. But also so clear though. So clear. So you um, get inspired by watching pictures like this. You see this. photographs like this and you think, how did yeah. they do that? Look at this. Yeah. 1936, snowstorm in New York City. Oh. What a picture. Yeah. You can imagine all those being there. Mm. It takes you back in time. Yeah, true. How about the police going on a car mm. like? Yeah. It was a rough, tough place, but mm. the photographer was there and they got the picture. I think yes. it's marvellous. Shot from the cannon. Yeah, wow. How about that? Look what a that. picture. Yeah, wow. That's a great shot. So, you know, you see things, mm. you get ideas, and then one day, as my uncle said to me, ah, I remember that. Yeah. And it could be out of context on an entirely different subject, you think, ah, yeah. I remember how that could be done. Yeah. And it just is it the experience of others. Come, True. let's go. Okay. Are we ready? Yes. Lights. Oh no, we, not, we might need the lights on for the video. Uh, yeah, yeah, just so... Yeah, we might need some sort of light right, on us. Uh, yeah, that's fine. It? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready to go? Yes. Dead. 
the chirping man. That's so good, so good. All the sounds you've added. Bank of England. I remember this day. Mm -hmm. Very. <laughs> this is the BBC, and here is the news. Today, the Bank of England has announced that unlimited money will be created to keep the economy in motion. The exceptional nature of the current crisis makes this essential. Tears in my eyes, I remember I was cold that day. <laughs> So we just finished watching the short film. It was wonderful how it's done such a great job on that. Um, I think it's time for us to find out more about the cameras you use and the equipment you use. Well, you I can show you a piece of equipment here. Okay. Um, we have various 60mm um, cameras. Swiss Bolex equipment, which is probably still obtainable. And okay. was the workhorse of the professional and advanced amateur for many, many years. Mm. And here's just one example. It's not only about where you get it from, it's all about how you know how to use it also. This one was previously owned by the television news company because it's still got the transfer on it. Oh. So this is how a lot of films were made for television and then you'd wind it up with the spring, mm -hmm. attach the correct lens which is not on it at the moment and off we go. Wow. Of course you didn't need a battery, mm -hmm. there was nothing nothing to give up, you have to do is keep winding it. Right, you've got to keep winding it every time you film. Yeah, sometimes you forget and it will start to run down. Oh, so these are all collector's items now, but, they but are. obviously you still use it, to make just, you just made a film with that. Well I always felt, because we all have our own sort of 
strange take on life. Some of us can't stop doing one thing, I can't stop doing another. Yeah. And what I can't stop doing is trying to mix up the past into the present. Nice. Because after all, what's present now, by the time we finish this movie, will be past already. Yeah. So the, the present's moving into the past as we speak. So the past shouldn't be forgotten. I think we could bring it up, which is what I like to do. Because yeah. history always repeats itself in one form or another. Mm -hmm. And it makes things more relevant. Yeah. That's my view. And I, I just I like doing it. And also, sometimes it's good to do something because it's not too easy. Mm -hmm. And the more you think about it, you're not going to press that button until you've got a little bit more confidence what you're yeah. going to record is the thing you really want. Yeah. Because each time you record on a piece of film, you spend a bit of money on that as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not an unlimited supply. Yeah, it's not, you just can't press delete and then just get rid of it. You, have, you yeah. can't. Yeah. It's there to stay. Yeah. Well, I can imagine the older movies with the mistakes. The camera, uh, the director might have got so angry with the people making mistakes. Cut! Yeah. Cut! <laughs> Cut. Yeah. <laughs> there goes this much of money. <laughs> And there's that famous Americanism, get out of here! Yeah. <laughs> because people frequently lost their temper because, yeah. you know, the money was evaporating. Yeah. And if the person can't act for toffees, it mm. doesn't matter how many takes you do, mm. you're never going to get the results you want. Yeah, even now they're sort of still, I know they, they can just hit delete, but still, but the equipment and the, the labor hours, they've hired the venues to film in, so they just try and, and get And the money everything. goes up in the post production when yes. you're behind the computer going right. through all this huge amount of footage right right so you right. spend the money at a different end and of course the words are still the same you have footage but there mm. are no feet mm. in these days it was so many feet of film yeah so the same and same when words. it's in the can what is the can yeah. the can is the film can yeah like these so when it's in the can that's when you yeah it's in the can oh, or right. it's a wrap there's the film in the yeah. can yeah yeah and people can't get rid of the words are embedded into the terminology of mm -hmm. movies. Yeah. But people are growing up now. They don't know what a can is. They yeah. don't know what a take is. And the rushes. What was the rush? The film that you developed on that same day. Oh. Rush to be developed quickly, so right. you could have a look that evening straight out of the bath where it's been right. developed and fixed, still right. wet. Right. So all these words yeah. were just shortcuts for the process that was used over all these years and right. people forget about it now, yeah. they're just words. Yeah. I think this video is going to be so informative for people who don't really know about this stuff. I think most, pe most people watching this probably have no clue about this stuff anyway, so... It's a generational thing. Yeah. And then when we get older, people won't have a clue about what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and things are changing faster now as yeah. well. Yeah, true. Yeah. Okay, now you're going to show us something. Okay, as you know, I collect coins and I, uh, I've got a lot of different coins I want to show you something with. So we've got three different coins here. Uh, an American coin, a Chinese coin and a Mexican coin. You can check these coins out. Have a look at them. I trust you. Okay, okay. <laughs> three coins here. Okay, so you've got the American coin, the Chinese and the Mexican coin. Okay. Uh, so we've got the Mexican and the... Uh, um, Chinese coin here, so w technically what should be in my hand? If I the other one. Pocket, which is the American one. The American one. Now, the American one is here. Oh, how did it get over and there? That <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Okay. okay. Um, this time, watch. Okay. I'm going to reach in and grab the American coin out. Okay. There it is, yeah. Right. Now watch the move. One, two, three. You see them change places? Well, how did they do that? <laughs> they <funny>. moved. <laughs> yeah, they moved. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you. <laughs> Ashley, you yeah. saw you had an inter yeah. entertainment there. Thanks. <laughs> so that's it. We've watched the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks to Howard for his wonderful work directing this masterpiece. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful time wherever you are. And I'll see you in the next video. By the way, the next video is me interviewing Harvard. So keep a lookout for that video very soon. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.